um, I'm back. This is part three. Um, this is another random bit. When I turn the power on, it, it's a toggled random bit, I think. I flank. I I frankly do not know how this works. It just, it just seems when I put more power to it faster, it turns off faster. I don't know how it works. I think, in my opinion, when you put the power in, it turns it on. Then after a while, a random while, amount of time, it'll turn itself back off. We'll come back to that at in the end of the episode and see if that's true. So we're just going to get to the end of this row for this episode and uh, then I'll put the other one. I'll, I don't know. I'm confused. So, <laughs> this is like the clock, I think, compared to the last episode. Except I'm just not sure. It, it is in no way similar to the clock. Again, it seems that the more I click the lever, the faster it goes on and off. So I'm not sure how that works. Um, the random bit still has not gone off. So I don't know. Um, I've noticed a few of the ICs that are broken. Maybe those are just two of them. Um, this is a transmitter, as we showed in the first episode. Um, when the power goes in, it goes to the receiver down there, and it puts the power out of the receiver. So, if you haven't watched the first episode, um, it's it, it's further explained there. Uh, this is a, a mob spawner. Uh, it spawns every single mob, including giants. Um, once I finish once I finish these tutorials, I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I've done with. These new player, cool. Um, um, I'll show you um, what things that I've done with the ICs. We have a PV area in that this uses, and it uses a bunch more ICs than just these mob spawners. But basically, it'll spawn a pig with each current that goes into it, and so when I put a current in, it spawns a pig. When it turns off, it just does nothing. So I'll just butcher these poor piggies. Um, this is a set block above. Um, it sets a block not on this um, block right above, but the second block above, as you'll see right here. So it sets a block um, one space above. In that case, I put the code in for a diamond block. Now, uh, note it does not turn the block off when the power is on. It's a one-time deal only. Now there are things that will. Um, uh, make the block disappear afterwards. Now this is the same thing except it places the block right here instead of up there. It's a uh, set block below. So you just do that. The gold block appears because I have it. I have the ID set to gold right there. Um, like gold block, I should say. Uh, now this is a set block. Now right here I have it as 41 42, which means it will go between. Um, an iron block and a gold block. So if I toggle it, it'll go to gold block. If it goes no power, it'll go back to iron. Now I could do something like 41-0. So it'll disappear when there's no power, I think. See, uh, gold block is 41. So yeah, if, there, if there's no power, it'll disappear. If there is power, it'll come back. Um, now this is a set P door. Now I don't really know what this does, but well, I, I you can see what it does, but I don't really understand how like the applications for this right now. I haven't played around with it that much, but basically, again like this, I have it set so it's bedrock and obsidian. When power goes in, it changes that, it changes that to bedrock. When power is removed, it'll go back to obsidian. Now it's it starts three away from the block, so it goes one, two, three, and it starts right here. Um, now this next number after the colon indicates how long it's going to be. So this is one, two, three, four, five, as indicated by that. Now this is a P bridge. I still do not know what this does either, but it's kind of the same thing, I guess. Um, now it just toggles it between uh, 57 diamond block and gold blocks. 
which is five away and it's a three long. Um, a lot of these I, um, ICs are very good for dungeons. Um, what do you mean? Um, <laughs> so I guess that's it for the tour room. Um, uh, so yeah, it's just your brain trick stuff, I guess. Um, so next tour, I'm going to be doing half of these, then another half, then those. I'll be finished those up, I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed um, this. I hope you rate, subscribe. I'll do a lot of more. I'm trying to do as many bucket plugging tutorials as I possibly can because I run a bucket server. Um, the link to the website below. Come on, it's gray listed, so you can come on, but you can't do anything until you apply and get membership. All you have to do is put your um, end game name on our Minecraft forum post, which is evil, I guess, because it bumps our posts, so, can, so more people can find us. Um, so I'll probably post on the false book. Um, plugin page. I don't know if he's gonna like it because he has his own. Or she. Wait, he though. Um, that would be sexist, but. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, goodbye. Come on, my server. Have fun. Um, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.